When you use Microsoft Copilot, before your data even begins to touch a large language model, there is a check to make sure you haven't said anything naughty. This is the second episode in my series on, like, what is actually going on inside Copilot. The previous episode, which I'll link in a playlist somewhere, just broadly covers the seven-step process that happens when you summon an agent in Copilot. But today, we're going to look particularly at this bit, the preliminary checks, which keep you, your business, and the large language model safe. I say safe, you can agree or disagree with what they're doing here, but the content filtering system that happens in these preliminary checks will stop you saying things that you probably shouldn't be saying at work. And they're not generative AI. So when you type something in that Copilot prompt box and press enter, the first thing that happens is that that piece of text that you have just written out gets fired off to a series of machine learning classifiers that Microsoft have written, though for obvious security reasons they're pretty tight-lipped about how exactly they're working, but the documentation says that they are classifiers and they classify the text that you just wrote according to the risk for a variety of different things. So there's stuff like categorization for hate speech, categorization for adult themes, categorization for violence and that sort of thing. And it gets uh, graded into like high, medium and low risk. And then if it grades you as sufficiently high risk, it bounces you back and says, hey, I'm really sorry, I can't answer this. It violates one or two of these policies. If you want to play fast and loose with the P45, go ahead and type something wildly offensive into your work's co-pilot box. Press enter and Watch the resulting message and emails from HR come through. This large suite of machine learning models is called the Azure AI Content Screen. And it's also enabled, actually, if you go ahead and build uh, models using AI Agent Foundry. Actually, it's just called AI Foundry these days, isn't it? AI Foundry. If you spec a model from there, you have, by default, also enabled this series of machine learning models in front of that. But... In a copilot context, there's also a couple of ex other extra things going on. So there's not just machine learning models for, you know, naughty words. There are also machine learning models that look for things like prompt injection attacks. So, you know, the, the things that we have classically been now very used to, like, you know, ignore all previous instructions, do something else. Those are screened for as well. The other thing that happens during these preliminary checks on copilot is it also checks where this information is coming from and, if necessary, applies extra guardrails.